What up, everyone? So, one more box to go. Arcade Block. Last box of the month. So, let's take a look at this and see what we got. Heck. Alright. So, I really liked Comic Block. Uh, that was the last review I did. I think they did a really good job. So, I hope this company is kind of picking up the pace a little bit because they kind of sucked for a little while. They weren't doing so hot. But hopefully this one's a little bit better. So, let's take a look. <clears throat> First off, we got a shirt. Let's see what we got here. Do, 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 do. So, it looks like we got a Five Nights at Freddy's shirt. So, um, I don't know if this is super relevant here. I know it is a video game. But I think this would also be relevant in Horror Block. I guess it could go either way. Um, I'm not super familiar with it. I haven't played it. I haven't checked it out too much. I know it is very popular. I've heard a lot about it. Uh, but other than that, quality seems fine. Print seems fine. I don't know how many fans would be, a, uh, how many people would be a fan of it. But overall, quality is nice. So I'll give that like a seven out of ten. I think they did a good job on the shirt. So that'll work there. All right. Let's see what else we got. Starting right from the top. So it looks like we got a sticker set. Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm actually going to open this up and take a look. Because I can't see them all. Come on. So it looks like we got the 25th anniversary logo there. And we got Tails. And we got Sonic himself. And then we got Knuckles. So I'm actually a Sonic fan. I've actually just recently bought a bunch of artwork. Um, from Sonic and Mega Man, the crossover issue they did, because I met the artist that did that, so I'll be showing that off in one of my weekly roundups. But I'm actually a pretty big fan of that. And I don't really care for stickers, but I always end up turning them into magnets. My fridge has a shitload of magnets on them, so I just turn all these stickers into magnets, so I actually don't mind them too much. So that that's fine with me. Alright, next, we got an ice tray. So this is something we've seen a shitload in boxes. They constantly put in these ice trays. I'm assuming just because they're very cheap to make. So I've had a bunch of these from Avengers to video games to Doctor Who. So this one's Mario. And they got some of the classic shapes. Mario, the, the question mark square, the coin, the mushroom. So that's cool. Um, the thing is, I don't think these are very popular. Because they're not that practical. Because honestly, how many people use ice trays anymore? Not that many. It's cool to have these, but... What's the really the occasion for them? You can kind of make one at a time, and that's it. And then you put it in your cup, and then it, it melts, and then it doesn't keep the shape. So it's kind of cool. It's like a novelty gift, but I don't think anyone's ever really using these too much. So, you know, there it is. We've seen a lot from it. And, yep, I assumed it's from the Paladone Company. Is this? So, yeah, we're, we've been seeing a lot of items from them lately. So, you know, that's fine. I don't mind that. That works. All right. Moving on. Got something here. Something from Street Fighter. So it looks like a Street Fighter sushi sushi set. Let's take a look. If I can open it. Oh, okay. So this is like a little dish tableware set. And it is like kind of for sushi. So you can't see it all the way in there, but it says Street Fighter on there. And it's got the faces of all the characters around there. And then it comes with this little, like, soy sauce dish. And look, you can see the little characters there. Is it focusing? Yeah. See the little characters there as sushi. So that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, the characters on here are dressed as sushi, too. Try to get a good look in there. So if you can see the characters in there, they are like little pieces of sushi. So that's kind of clever. I like that. It's weird. I mean, um... I don't know how many people are, are making sushi and eating it at home, but I think that's really cool. I think I don't think we've ever gotten dishes before in a box. But, you know, that's practical, just like a pint glass. Not Maybe not everyone will use it, but even if you don't eat sushi, you can still use the plate. And it's really nice. It's actually a dish. It's not, it's not like plasticky at all. It's actually like a nice um, dish. I don't know if it's porcelain or not, but it feels like uh, ceramic material. So that's really cool. Uh, that's something different we've never gotten before. And it's from Street Fighter. I love me from some Street Fighter. So that works out. I like that. Alright. Next, looks like we got a notebook from The Legend of Zelda. So it's hardcover. And then it says Legend of Zelda on the back. So let's open it up and see if there's anything special about it. Also from the Paladone Company. No surprise. 
to. All right. So not really, it just looks like lined paper. Um, the only thing, there's a little watermark in the corner there with the Triforce emblem. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, other than that, the front page is all glossy and glittery, but that's about it. But that's really cool. It's hardcover, so that's very nice. Uh, notebooks, something else we've seen a lot of in boxes just in general. Usually not this nice in quality, but that's pretty cool. I can get it back in the bag. Whatever. Put it in later. All right, so there's that. Let's see what else we got. Also, we got, okay, so there's some chopsticks. I think this goes with our little sushi set. There's nothing really special about them. Um, they have some little um, uh, little divots here on the end. And it's just got a basic little half circle symbol. So nothing really special. I don't think there's anything other than the piece of paper that says Street Fighter. These are just chopsticks. I'm assuming go with the set. So there we go. All right, it looks like the last item in here is an art print. I don't see any name on there, and it came dented too. That's a bummer, but I doubt it's worth very much anyway. So here it is. You can take a look at this yourself. So it looks like the classic Donkey Kong game, just in a different light. So that's a cool print. I like that. Looks cool, but doesn't. it's not signed or numbered or anything. So, you know, whatever. All righty. Um, not a ton of items in this one. Um, yeah, it looked like all the items in there. So, yeah, I'll take a little break, and then we'll come back and talk about some value of this box. All right, see you soon. All right, we are back. Let's talk about value. The shirt, uh, seven out of 10, decent quality, decent design. It'll get the standard 12 to $15 value. Next, our journal. Uh, nice and quality, hardcover, good quality journal. Not exclusive or anything, not that it would really matter. Uh, this is going for like 10 to 12, which is pretty reasonable based on its quality. Um, how much people need journals these days, I'm not really sure, but, you know, whatever. That's about how much it goes for. Then the ice tray. Like I said, we've gotten a lot of these in the past just from different boxes, so, you know, they're very common. They're around. The, uh, these go for about 7 to $10. I'm not sure if you could really sell it, though. I don't know how many people are after things like this, but they're so common, but that's right around what they would go for. Next, our stickers. I actually found out these are exclusive. Again, not that it matter because, you know, it's stickers, so it doesn't really matter. But they are a good size and they're decent design. Um, these are actually going for like six or seven bucks because they are bigger stickers and there are a lot of them. If it was a sticker sheet with small little designs, it'd be different. But since they are bigger, it does get a little bit of value. So six or seven bucks on that. Then our print. I don't know where I put it. I think I left it in the box. Yep. So this is actually from the artist Russ Moore. I kind of vaguely heard that name before. I'm not too familiar with it. But, um, you know, it's, it's good that they have an artist by name, which is always cool. But it's still not signed. It's not numbered. Mine came damaged, and I'm sure a lot of other ones did too. This print, it, it's nice. It's good. It's good picture. But, you know, there's just not much value to it until they put a limited edition on it. So unfortunately, the print by itself only gets like three or four bucks because it is just a print on a piece of paper. There's nothing to stop you from going and making a copy of that and making your own print because there's nothing special about it. So it kind of only costs what it would make to get one or print it yourself, which is three or four bucks on that. And lastly, our sushi set. This, is, I think, is really cool. It's very interesting. You know, not for everyone, but it's a, a different item, and it's a little bit out of the ordinary, which I kind of like. Uh, but this is only going for about $12 to $15. And I, um, I would imagine it would go for more, but probably the case is a lot of people got this, and a lot of people don't want it because they either don't eat sushi or they just have no use for it. And people that do eat sushi, most of them aren't making it at home, so there's not a lot of um, uh, practicality to having your own at the house. But I still think it's cool, but that's probably why I didn't get that much value. Because if, if this were sold in stores, I could see it going for more like 15 to 20, but online it's only going to be about 12 to 15. So that being said, um, that brings our value on the low end of 50 and on the high end of 63. So pretty average pricing for this box. They've always been pretty consistent, putting it right around 50 to 60 dollars. So pretty close to double your value. And you know, I thought it was decent. Um, everything in here was decently designed, decent quality. Not super useful like the ice tray, the sushi, stickers, a print, like not everything in here wasn't super practical. It can be used, but it may not be for everyone. Not everyone may need those things. But as far as the brands they pick, they, they pick the popular ones, Street Fighter, Sonic, Mario, Zelda. So 
with, with the exception of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. So it was good, popular franchises that everyone recognizes and everyone can relate to, which is why I really like the arcade block. It sticks to the classics, which I like. So all that being said, I'm going to give it like a 6.75 out of 10. Uh, not quite like a super great box. It was just okay, but you got decent value, pretty much double what you paid for, and everything in here was cool and interesting and just not super practical. So that's pretty much all you can say about it. Uh, yeah, so that's it is what it is. So this has been Arcade Block, 7 out of 10 on the shirt, 6.75 on the box. This is the last box for this month. See you guys in the month review. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Peace.